Good morning, and welcome to Let's Talk Real Estate on 101.5 Sports Radio, Lakes Region. Today's show is presented by the Cisneros Realty Group, powered by EXP Realty, and sponsored by Dana Gunnarsson, agent at the Joe Suazo Allstate Insurance Office, Hudkins Law, Title, and Settlement, and NCT, Nano Coding Technologies. It's time to join our host at Let's Talk Real Estate. And good Saturday morning. My name is Karina Cisneros, Realtor, with the Cisneros Realty Group, powered by EXP Realty. We cover the New Hampshire Lakes region from Concord to Franconia. Our show focuses on all aspects of real estate. And in the next 30 minutes, we'll share with you important information that will help you with either buying or selling your home. Today, a very special guest is joining us. His name is Jim Cott, and he is the sales manager for Image Awnings in Wolfboro, New Hampshire. Welcome, Jim. Well, thank you, Karina. Thanks for having me today. Okay, great. Jim, um, you say here um, that you do awnings, retractables, stationary canopies, Curtains, motorized and manual, and boat canopies. What's the most favorite thing that you like to do of all those things? Well, probably the most popular thing that we do in this area would be our boat canopies. And those canopies are designed to protect boats while they're in their slips. We work uh, in conjunction with a number of marine contractors in the area. Um, and we are generally the finishing touch to a, a person's waterfront project. Okay. Are all canopies created equal? All canopies are not created equal. Tell me why. <clears throat> well, um, first of all, you start off with the fact that the canopies have to be permitted by the state of New Hampshire through the DES. The process uh, to get a permit through the DES is fairly complicated and the state basically dictates exactly what we are able to build for each individual customer. Hmm. All right. Why is that? Why are they even involved? Well, because the, the canopies are being built over the water, right. whether it's Lake Sunapee, Winnipesaukee, Squam Lake, all of which we, we cater to. Um, that is the property of the state of New Hampshire. Correct, and anything correct. that impacts the waterfront uh, accordingly has to be permitted by okay, the state. Okay, let's talk about awning materials. Mm -hmm. Are there different options and different price points? Or do you have a recommendation? Well, we generally, we have some basic um, types of canopies that we build. First of all, we start off with a, a, an aluminum frame. The frames are welded and they're custom built for each customer. We generally build them in three different styles, whether it's an arch-shaped canopy, which would be a rounded top, an A-frame canopy, which would be uh, coming to a peak. The bow and the stern of those canopies would be a vertical surface, so the gable ends. And then we also build hip roof canopies. And for those of you who aren't familiar with a hip roof configuration, it basically starts out looking like an A-frame canopy, but the gable ends are angled in towards the center of the canopy lengthwise. Um, they're a little more aerodynamic. And the reason that we started building those, Karina, was because they, when we start getting into larger canopies, uh, we become concerned with wind factors. And so the hip roof canopies um, are more aerodynamic. And also they tend to match better the, the current um, styles of homes that are being built around the area. Okay, what about uh, canvas materials? Canvas materials are generally Sunbrella acrylic canvas. There's other manufacturers out there who make uh, similar products. And 
virtually identical products, but Sunbrella is kind of the Kleenex of the industry, if you will. It's the name that everybody recognizes, whether it's their marine products, which is what we use, or furniture fabric, interior fabrics, etc. And, and when you, what you want in a fabric is obviously one that lasts and can um, withstand all the elements. Absolutely. So Sunbrella canvases come with a 10-year warranty. Wow. Um, and general lifespan for a, a canopy's uh, cover would be somewhere in the order of 14 to 15 years. Okay. So let's shift now to uh, awnings on land. Yes. What are the most common types of awnings that you do on land? Retractable awning systems tend to be very popular these days. Um, a lot of people will come to us with the ideas of a retractable awning, whether it's motorized and manually operated, would be for weather protection and or sun protection. Um, retractable awnings uh, actually are built almost strictly for sun protection. So a customer might come to us with the idea of a retractable being usable in inclement weather situations. But uh, at that point, if we start discussing weather, I will start the conversation with um, a canopy, which would be a welded frame, again, and a seasonal cover. It would go, the cover would go on in the spring, come off before snow flies, and that would be really the only configuration that would uh, withstand all kinds of weather. A lot of people like the retractables because uh, they are adaptable. If you have a smaller deck and you would like to enjoy both the sunshine and some shade protection, um, the retractable awnings afford you that capability where with the canopy idea, you are shading that area permanently for the summer season. Okay, it's time to take a break and hear from our sponsors. We'll be right back with more Let's Talk Real Estate after this on 101.5 Sports Radio Lakes Regions. This is Let's Talk Real Estate with Karina Cisneros on 101.5 WEEI Sports Radio Lakes Region. Once again, here's Karina. Okay, and we are back with Image Awnings, Mr. Jim Cott. Okay, so we've covered um, awnings for over the water and the lake. Uh, what about uh, residential? So you're ta telling me about curtains. Do we need uh, some umbrella curtains sometimes? So, yeah, um, we call them drop curtains, okay. and, they're, and they're basically made um, of sunbrella canvas borders, Yes, and then using a clear eisenglass that's, vinyl that's right. that would be similar to what you will see on a boat. That's right. We offer these in two different formats. One would be a product that we actually manufacture ourselves. Those drop curtains basically operate on a simple rope and pulley mechanism. They're mounted typically on the outside, which would be preferable because they're more effective that way. And they are locked in place using a, a turn snap. Um, some customers, higher end customers, might be interested in a product which is called an e-zip system. And it's basically a motorized version of our drop curtains where the curtains roll into a cassette system and they ride in a track. They're motorized, typically remote controlled, and again, typically mounted on the outside. The idea is to protect people from rain during the summer season, but to enclose that porch for the winter season as well so that furniture doesn't have to be moved and the winter elements aren't so, getting to the porch. Let me ask you a question. Let's let's visualize the awning for a deck. Yes, that's motorized, and it's for sun protection. Mm -hmm. um, and let's say it's um, fifteen feet wide mm -hmm. by maybe fifteen feet long. Sure, typical dimensions. Yeah. 
Well, what kind of money we're talking about? Average well, ballpark. Well, so for for a retractable awning, now yeah. you're saying. Um, <clears throat> well, first I should mention that the, the retractable awnings uh, are available standardly up to 40 feet in length. Wow, okay. And we can have them project out as far as 16 and a half feet. Okay. The typical residential unit would have a maximum extension of 13 feet. Yes. But for commercial purposes, which we get into on a regular basis, uh, that 16 and a half foot version is available as well. And how much money we're talking about? Uh, well, a 40 by 16 six commercial awning would run you probably in the neighborhood of sixteen to eighteen thousand dollars installed. And uh, something similar, smaller for residential. Smaller for residential, you're typically in the five thousand dollar range, somewhere in that area. Do you facilitate financing, or is this just a cash situation? Uh, typically, a cash situation. We do take credit cards. Yeah. So that's available. So you have your awning. You've installed it. We're using it. Happy owner. How do we make sure it lasts a long time? I mean, uh, what do we need to do? Do we have to clean it once a year? Uh, what about bird droppings or other things that could, uh, you know, ruin it? Mm -hmm. with, <clears throat> with retractable awnings, again, typically a cover is going to last somewhere in the order of 15 to 16 years. Um, you have to be careful with a retractable and not leave it out in the elements because wind and rain can... Um, cause death and destruction for the awning. So there are some stopgap measures that you can have where if the awning was left unattended, you would have a wind sensor, which if the wind kicked up, it would send the awning in automatically. Uh, cleaning typically is not necessary, nor is it necessarily advisable because it's phenomenally expensive to do it. It would have to be sent out. Yeah. And typically, it's about 60% the cost of replacing the canvas. So most of our customers, virtually all of our customers, will run with that fabric as long as they can. Okay, so what if we get a tear? Have you seen tears in these? Kid throwing you, up a rock or something happens? It, it would have to be something heavy to fall through it from above. So we may see that every once in a while. Uh, they can be patched. Mm -hmm. um, so with our canopies, with our seasonal canopies, we offer a service where we will take the canvas away, mm -hmm. inspect it every year, mm -hmm. do any repairs to it, mm -hmm. and then reinstall it in the spring. Mm -hmm. So we tend to keep track of all of that for our customers. Um, and again, the cleaning process is not necessarily advisable or affordable mm -hmm. in most people's eyes. Um, and we're generally getting 12, 13 or so years out of that canvas. So, so do you only do, um, let's see, awnings or do you have other products that we haven't talked about? Typically just awnings. I mean, w we haven't talked about commercial applications um, probably 10 years ago, what was very popular was internally lit awnings used for signages uh, on businesses. Um, most municipalities have um, disallowed those by permit, um, obviously because of the, the thought of light pollution. Um, so they've kind of gone the way of the dinosaur, but we do have those available okay. as well. If anybody listening to our show uh, is considering investing in an awning for the spring, mm -hmm. should they contact you soon? Do you have a waiting list or what's happening? Uh, yeah, actually, if you're looking for it early in the spring, you would have had to contact me somewhere in uh, November or December. But, of course, for our listeners. <clears throat> but for our listeners, we will do our best okay. to accommodate you. Uh, we had probably 40 or more um, jobs to complete this year going into spring. Um, I mentioned that we seasonalize or we provide a service yes. for our customers. We have over 500 of those. So springtime for us is, uh, I don't want to say a nightmare. It's a pleasant nightmare. Okay. But we have about 500 customers whose stuff has to go back up along with what we've built so over the winter. If somebody wants to inquire, save a spot, get a quote, who do they call and where do they call? You would call the office at Image Awnings. We're located in Wolfboro, New Hampshire. And what's that number? 
And that's uh, 569-6680. What if they ask for Jim Cott? Um, I'm the one and only sales guy, so you're kind of stuck with me. Okay. Um, I'm uh, punctual to a fault. And how long have you been doing this? Uh, I've been with the company has been in existence for 30 years. I've been with the company for 25. Okay, everybody, you heard it from the expert Jim Cott of Image Awnings. If you've been dreaming about that awning, call Jim at 603-569-6680. He'll take good care of you, and when he when you call, just say Karina sent you. So he knows that you heard about them on this show. Thank Absolutely. you, everybody. Okay. Another summer day has come and gone away. Paris alone, but I wanna go home.